Welcome to the Utility Safety Podcast from Incident Prevention Magazine. I have with us today Eric Steiner, who is the Marketing Director at Bigfoot Construction Equipment. Bigfoot is an American family manufacturer that specializes in outrigger pads. They produce both wood and composite outrigger pads, as well as the longest in-house manufacturer of custom composite pads. They use American-made materials. They are veteran-owned. They use American materials as well as the employees and manufacturing outrigger pads for the safety of hardworking personnel around the world. Welcome to the podcast, Eric, and how are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. How about yourself? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, as we were talking earlier, we got a little bit of snow here in, in Chicago and, and where it mm-hmm. looks beautiful uh, out mm-hmm. in California. So I'm a little jealous from that end, but we're glad that you could take the time and uh, and join us today. Absolutely. I'm super excited to, uh, to sit down and have a talk with you. And we appreciate uh, Utility Business Media for uh, all the marketing efforts that you guys do for many different companies. Yeah, absolutely. So I got some questions for you and kind of let people know how did how did your company get started and where are you guys going in the future? Yeah, great question. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a fun anecdote we like to tell at our trade shows and people that come by. But uh, basically, my grandpa started the company, so it's third generation now. Uh, he started it in 1991. He was a, a concrete pump operator in uh, the Chicagoland area. He just discovered a, a need for outrigger pads, so they were having trouble finding outrigger pads on the job site and finding ones that were affordable and reliable. So he he got to work and just started uh, messing with materials and different sizes based on the kind of work that needed to be done. So yeah, I started popping concrete and then started making outrigger pads out of his garage. And now we're, we're here today with a 20,000 square foot facility, um, over 10 employees and outrigger pads all around the world. Yeah, you guys are located uh, pretty close to me, I believe, out in uh, Woodstock, Illinois. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Woodstock, Illinois. Wow, that's really cool. I mean, to have someone in the family that, you know, developed a, a product from a need and then to see, to be a part of that business today, it's got to be a pretty cool feeling. Yes, it is definitely a very cool feeling and it's an honor to carry on the legacy. For sure. Absolutely. You know, what other industries do you service besides the utility industry? Yeah. So um, as I just mentioned, so it started off in the concrete pumping industry. So the, the concrete pumps have a lot of need for outrigger pads because they're, they're reaching out that pump, you know, many, many yards. So there's a lot of of weight that is being placed on the outriggers. So concrete pump industry, a big industry for us is the crane, uh, heavy lifting and transportation industry. Obviously a lot of cranes have a lot of weight that needs to be supported. We do we do work in the, the steel erection industry, in um, the groundwater industry, utility industry, as you mentioned, and tree care industry. So basically a lot of different industries that just have outrigger systems on their equipment. Uh, we make the pads that will displace that weight and, and protect the people working out there. And, you know, I didn't know much about outrigger pads, you know, I, until I kind of had looked into it. I know that, you know, just from my personal life, digging in the backyard, stuff like that. I mean, you have different environments here. We go through all four seasons and the ground can be right. unstable. And so when you're trying to, you know, um, position that that vehicle to be able to um, do the work, it's got a lot of weight. And so it is probably overlooked in terms of the the amount of safety it, it can actually help foster, but yeah. you just may not think of it, you know, how, how important it is to have good outrigger pads. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of where our job as Bigfoot comes in, aside from actually, you know, making the pads and communicating with the customer is uh, we're just looking to educate people more around the importance of, of setting up properly. So. Absolutely. So how do you balance affordability with also being very high quality and having very durable materials in your outrigger pads? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, that's why we offer, you know, different materials. Um, so we really don't want to compromise on, on cost at all. We want to make sure we're making the best product we possibly can because obviously it's something that's going to be supporting entire um, job sites. So so really we just offer different materials. Like our wood material is going to be a little more cost effective than our, our custom composite, but our composite has a lifetime guarantee. So really just depending on where you are geographically, like if you're in more drier climates, you can use wood pads because they'll last longer. So you'll save some money on that. But if you just want pads where you can buy them once and have them forever, um, that's our idea with the custom composite. So yeah, we just, we make sure to to keep our prices competitive, but we also, um, there's going to be a lot cheaper outrigger pads out there on the market because they're just uh, coming from overseas using kind of unverified materials. So yeah, we always want to make sure that we're transparent in our sourcing and we definitely don't make any sacrifices on quality. 
but we just have a good product and and it's not we're not gouging people on price so the guys that know what the tools they need in the field are, are happy to pay to pay for that yeah i would say um you know i always kind of something i live by in my life is you know you're paying for the product you know you don't want something especially in a, in a safety situation to cause harm right and so spending money on knowing what you're getting you're getting a lifetime guarantee as you mentioned which i'd like to dive in with you on but knowing what you're getting because there is a lot of overseas manufacturers that you know may not um, specify what materials are using how it's being made how durable what kind of testing it's gone through and you're putting your life in you know a gamble essentially for for not for saving a couple of bucks and and i don't know that that's uh that's worth it so i mean safety is paramount i know to your company and uh, can you talk about you know the lifetime guarantee and maybe some testing that you guys do on your outrigger pads yeah absolutely so um so we've had all of our material tested before we actually brought it to market so we definitely have all the like the engineering specs on the strength capacities per square inch or per square foot whatever unit of measurement you use so basically just on a, we only offer the lifetime guarantee on a custom composite obviously because wood will kind of erode in the field as it's a, a renewable kind of natural resource but the plastic, our custom composite plastic pads, um, obviously they're they're not going to get eroded by water, ice, all that stuff. So yeah, just the the material itself, we know is going to last in the field uh, under proper usage, and we always want people to feel like we're there to to help them out if they do have an issue with that. So we just we back it for life, and if people have issues with their pads, we're happy to replace them. And and luckily, it's it's a super strong product, so we don't run into it often. But uh, when we do, we're always happy to work with our customers instead of just leaving them high and dry, trying to figure out how they're going to, you know, displace the weight of their equipment. So sorry to interrupt you there, but the, uh, that's a great message, you know, working with, you know, that's what you're paying for. Yeah, I've always said that, you know, service and standing behind your product, which you guys do. But I think that working with folks, you know, figuring out what is their needs, you know, what kind of environments, like you said, is it a wet environment? Is it drier? And you can work at the right product into their hands, right? Right. So that's awesome. Um, you know, another thing, it, as we move into, you know, uh, 2024, customization is is key. Uh, it seems like more and more things these days have customization. Do you guys offer anything like that on your pads? Yeah, absolutely. So that's, um, you know, that's something that we definitely pride ourselves on, like being end users. We definitely understand that a lot of different job sites are going to offer different, you know, issues or problems to solve. So um, we have our standard sizes. So if, if guys know what kind of pads that they've used in the past, they can go and order them really quickly. Or if they have, you know, an odd size, which has different dimensions or different surfaces or different handle features, um, they could just communicate with us uh, what they're looking for. And we always work with them to, to get that done. So yeah, we try to make every, you know, outrigger pad as personal to the job as possible. We're, we're trying to make sure everyone's working safely out there and, and we're making sure to spend the time to do so if there's any issues at hand. So yeah, I, that goes back to the customer service piece and uh, you know, that goes a long way. Understanding your customers is, is key. You know, let's, let's dive into a little bit of industry and trends that maybe you guys are seeing, you know, the construction industry is, is clearly booming. You know, we see houses being built. I know just even in our local area, there's big developments going up, um, housing, buildings, uh, cities, you know, how is Bigfoot adapting to meet the changing needs of the industry and, you know, how is Bigfoot helping to shape the future standards um, of ground stability safety? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, obviously construction is, is continuing to, to blossom and, and loom as we go forward here. And for us, it's just uh, involved uh, kind of more figuring out how we can uh, to support larger equipment. Um, so that's kind of, that's why we launched our steel crane mats at the beginning of last year, um, because our, our custom composite goes up to 200 ton equipment. Obviously, we're looking to as things get bigger, that's just going to become a, a smaller and smaller number in terms of that being a substantial piece of equipment. So yeah, anyways, we're just making stronger, stronger pads to outfit bigger equipment or we're working on just different customizations um, so that guys don't have to lift as much at once. They can break our rear pads into, into stackable features and things like that. So yeah, we're just, we're just um, mindful of the practicality of the product we know guys are going to be lugging these around so we're always trying to make it easier to use and but not compromising the actual integrity of the product yeah just always looking to improve and do bigger and better oh absolutely can you talk a little bit about that uh you said a steel crane mat that sounds interesting and something i haven't heard before 
Yeah, so essentially it does the the same thing as an outrigger pad where your outrigger system is resting on it. But obviously steel is, is a super strong material. It's just um, you need to have large enough equipment to justify that kind of investment, both financially and then just logistically having to move around that steel. So the bigger that this uh, uh, equipment gets, you're going to need that steel crane mat because it's, it's super rigid, super strong material. So you know that that's not going to bend. It's just a matter of what the ground is underneath it. So yeah, it's just it's just a way to to provide a, a stronger material, but obviously it's going to be you know getting more expensive because you're protecting more expensive equipment using more. Absolutely, I just had I had never heard of that, so I had heard of composite and wood before, but uh, but that's really cool. Uh, and you guys make those all in, in your Woodstock facility. Yes, that's correct. Awesome. Um, how do, you know going back to you know something that when we had chatted the other day that I you know wasn't aware of was this kind of shaping of of safety you know standards and ground stability safety standards. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? How you guys do that? How you're involved? As equipment gets larger and we're asking more and more from each of these job sites in terms of what we're looking to do and all the, all this liability starts to get involved. Of course, there's going to be more regulations and standards. Um, so as they look to develop those specifically around outrigger pads and ground bearing capacity, um, Bigfoot has been a, a big resource to the industry just because we've worked in that field for so long. So um, we've been doing a lot of things with like ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Uh, we just got uh, nominated for the board of directors of NAMA, National American Matting Association. And then we're involved in like the SCNRA um, standards committees, which is a uh, specialized carriers and rigging association. So all these different associations around like rigging and matting and ground stability, we're just looking to contribute our expertise towards and, and help people understand like the definitions around certain things and just create a more transparent culture just when it comes to that thing. Because it's pretty nuanced. Not everyone, like we talked about it earlier, it's pretty nuanced. Not everyone knows the importance of ground stability. So yeah, we're just making sure to, aside from manufacturing, pr- uh, prove a valuable resource to the industry as well. Oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, I didn't... You know, you guys are working with customers day in and day out. You're understanding their needs and what they're seeing in the field. And so you guys have become experts. You were um, before and, and becoming ever so, you know, as you move on, you know, as a company. So the fact that you're lending that to help develop standards to, you know, create a safer work environment is, is phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, so let's let's go on here. You know, with increasing emphasis on environmental responsibility, how is Bigfoot helping to create a sustainable future? Yeah, so that kind of goes back to our our pads having that lifetime guarantee. You know, we want we're not trying to have people burn through these things and just throw out plastic and buy more. And you know, we want we want them to last a long time. Um, we always recycle any like leftover material from when we're manufacturing the pads, and then a lot of times we'll have leftover material that um that we can make other stuff out of so we're always you know making kind of complementary products when there's leftover material to use so yeah we're always just not uh, looking to not be wasteful and just making sure that uh yeah we're not just pumping out an excess of, of stuff just uh to increase profit margins you know we want to make sure that we're doing things ethically and uh we work hard to do so that's awesome yeah um making a good product is is at its core but anything you can do you know to help like you said recycling Material as in the manufacturing process and making other products from that is awesome. Um, so could you talk a little bit? I know we're jumping out of the industry topic, but you know, something that I just had an epiphany here when we were just talking is I didn't realize that you work, you, you know, we talked a little bit about customization, but I didn't realize you, you work on dimensions and thickness and nylon material, like what, you know, handles they need to have on it and like all the specifications that maybe a utility or a different industry needs. Uh, I didn't realize you guys do that down to almost every order base. I'm sure you guys have some stock stuff, but but you guys do a lot of that. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we do a lot of that. Like Danta putting the, the logo of the company on there. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, so we engrave it to make it, you know, so it looks like it's that company's outrigger pads. Yeah, we, we always just want to do whatever the customer would prefer because some people don't want their logo on there. They're okay with the Bigfoot logo, but... We're just always looking to to solve the problem at hand instead of you know create more to solve. Oh, uh, that's that's really cool. So safety is paramount clearly in your field. How do your products enhance safety protocols for outrigger pad usage? Um, I would say they would enhance the protocols just in terms of uh, you know transparency of material. 
and then actually like knowing what are the proper load limits and sizes because people might be buying pads that are overkill for their task at hand or people might be trying to save money and they're getting pads that aren't going to meet the requirements for the task at hand. So so we just always want to be very transparent on what sizes are actually needed, what material would be best for the situation. Um, so we just always, we have that information on our website and then available uh, on, on request. Yeah, like I said, just transparency, just making sure, like we're not trying to get at, get over anything on someone. We're just trying to do the best we can to get them the right size pad so that they can get out there and do their work so that they can get paid and go home to their families. Absolutely. You know, what are some of the biggest challenges facing the outrigger pad industry and how is Bigfoot working to overcome them in the future? Yeah, so I would say one of the biggest challenges is awareness. A lot of guys that um, are using them aren't necessarily super aware of how important they can be because oftentimes they'll come on their equipment already being used or they didn't have education um, about it before. So, yeah, I would say awareness is a, is a big challenge. Um, we ran into just some supply chain challenges over the past couple of years with the pandemic and the economy. So just, I mean, which is, I'm sure is typical for just businesses in general. So yeah, awareness, supply chain. And then I would just say uh, with the, ad the advancement of, you know, cranes and things like that, um, there's going to be more regulations and more standards. So it's just, we're going to have to continue to to meet those as they get introduced. Mm -hmm. So those are probably the, the three main things. Okay. Would you say that, you know, working with the standards boards and stuff like that helps build awareness and helps build regulation to... You know, keep people safe because I know that OSHA's done a big job with, you know, helping increase safety uh, in the utility industry. And yeah, I mean, I I think I've learned a lot about the importance of outrigger pads. I I know there's people that do it. You know, you get taught how to do your work a lot of times by who's training you, right? And if they don't yep. know the proper stuff, they're just kind of training you in the way they know, and you're you, you're none the wiser. But I do think it's important. I know you guys have. You guys have been with us and done uh, some sessions at the IP Utility Safety Conference to help yep. raise awareness. And I know that the feedback has been great. And, uh, you know, people gain a lot of knowledge from that and go back to their utilities and, and share it. That's kind of the the hope of this podcast is that we'll be able to to raise awareness of the importance of outrigger pads, you know. And, and obviously, we'd like them to reach out to you if, if they have any questions, they want to to work on some custom outrigger pads uh, with Bigfoot. How can people get a hold of you and start that process? Yeah, great question. Um, So the easiest way to do it would be find our website. Um, It's as easy as uh, www.outriggerpads.com. So it's it's pretty straightforward right there. Um, So yeah, you can go to our website where we have a bunch of information. We just have the different pads that we offer broken down by industry. Uh, you know, we have different like safety informational things just regarding like, like you touched on OSHA and just the certain uh, standards that they have already um, involving outriggers and making sure to support them adequately. Um, so yeah, our, our website would be the best way. And then you could always call directly in and just ask our customer service representatives on um, whatever question you have and, and we'll do everything we can to answer as quickly as possible. That's awesome. Yeah, I um, we'll make sure to link the website in the description. I'll put the phone number as well. Eric, we really appreciate your time. I know you guys are busy. We are here in the new year and, uh, you okay. know, for sharing and, and coming on with us. And if anyone has any questions, uh, as long as Eric's okay with it, we'll leave his email address as well in the description and they can reach out to you if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you for spending time with us and we hope to uh, to talk to you soon and look for their ads in uh, IP and UFP magazines. They have beautiful ads set up, you know, that Eric helps work on for his company and thanks for the time. Heck yeah. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate you guys. Well, thank you. Have a wonderful day and a happy new year. Yep, you too. Thank you. The views, information, and opinions expressed during this podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of utility business media and its employees. It is strongly recommended that you discuss any actions or policy changes with your company management prior to implementation.